I've been driving the Tesla Model 3 for some time now and I really like its efficiency at high speed driving on the highway. I think it's one of the most efficient, if not the most efficient, electric vehicle that you can buy for a reasonable price, especially at high speeds. But I've been thinking about switching to aftermarket wheels and I was curious to understand how much efficiency will I be losing by doing this or how much range will I be dropping. So I'm doing the test where I will be driving with and without the aero wheel covers on the standard 18 inch wheels. So this is the test track I will be using for this efficiency test. I will be driving on the highway for about 30 km at roughly 130 km per hour. As this is almost a perfect loop, I will be driving in one direction for about 14 to 15 km, then jump off the highway, quickly drive around on the other side of the highway, then jump back on the highway and drive back for 14 to 15 km to the initial departure point. During this test, I will be not using cabin heating as I do not want any external influences on the test results. I will be performing two speed runs, one without the wheel covers on and one with the wheel covers on. During this test, I will be trying to keep my speed as close as possible to 130 km per hour. So let's start with test one without the wheel covers on. Getting up to speed, 130 kilometers per hour. Resetting the trip meter. Okay. Perfect weather conditions, 14 degrees Celsius. I'm not using any cabin heating, not even sitting, seat heating or steering wheel heating. Uh, trying to keep the speed as steady as possible, as close to 130 kilometers per hour. So I'm approaching the end of the first run of day two without the wheel covers. Uh, almost 30 kilometers. I will be reaching 30 kilometers in just a few seconds. What I will do next is get out of the highway, put the wheel covers on, and then redo the test. So 30 kilometers, 14 minutes, 
every fuel consumption or average energy consumption of 172 watt hours per kilometer or 17.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Second test now with wheel covers on. Getting up to speed. Resetting the trick meter and running the tests. So, approaching the end of run 2 of day 2, this one is with the aero covers on and I can always already see there is a, I would say, significant difference in energy efficiency. So as we get to 30 kilometers in 14 minutes, the average energy consumption is 166 watt hours per kilometer or 16.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So the results are in, but before I show them to you, let me do a very short summary. What I wanted to achieve here was to evaluate the efficiency drop of driving the Tesla Model 3 at high speed without the standard aero wheel covers. In order to measure this, I ran a test driving for about 30 km at a cruise speed of 130 km per hour, resulting in an average speed of 120 km per hour. The vehicle was a Tesla Model 3, production year 2023, real wheel drive, 282 horsepower with the 60 kilowatt hour LFP battery pack. The car was equipped with summer tires, the Michelin Pilot Sport 4, in the standard dimensions of 235 by 45R18. The outside temperature was between 12 and 14 degrees Celsius. Two tests were run, one without the covers on and one with the covers on. For both tests, the cabin heating was turned off. Now finally the test result. The average energy consumption of driving this test run of 30 kilometers without the aero covers on 
was 17.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, or 172 watt hours per kilometer. Running the same test but with the aero covers on resulted in an average energy consumption of 16.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, or 165 watt hours per kilometer. This means that there is a difference of 0.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers or 7 watt hours per kilometer between the two test runs. Saying it differently, there is a 4% efficiency drop by removing the standard wheel covers. So there are people that really like how the standard 18 inch wheels of the Tesla Model 3 look without the aero covers. I am one of those. So what do you think? Is it worth it to remove the aero covers just for looks and lose 4% efficiency? Which means basically 4% less range? Or is it worth it to switch to aftermarket wheels, which will not have the same aerodynamic performance and lose 4% or even more? Let me know what you think.